First time I've ever put a stereo system in my motorcycle. I have a 2011 Road Glide Ultra, which is brand new for this year. After doing my research, I felt that the ARC Audio stereo combination speakers and amplifier were probably the best buy for my dollar. This is the Impact 4, Amazon Mary Pack. AK4 and uh, this by Arc Audio. You can see there's a huge difference. Went from five and a quarter to six and a half. Both have tweeters. Obviously, this is a much more substantial speaker, demanding more power. So this is the spot the stock speaker, which we're not going to be using. <clears throat> this is the amp. This is the Arc amp. Low distortion. Uh, Fairly reasonable size, easy to work with. There are adjustments in here, and I'll tell you more about that later. But it's pretty simple. On the 2011 Road Glide Ultra, the space has been changed and the wiring's been changed, so you have to kind of be careful what you're doing and read your instructions. This is the spacer kit that allows you to take the five and a half speak, five and a quarter speaker out and put in the six and a half speaker. Now, if you notice, this speaker system here has a cone to it. Now, you want that cone facing to the outside of the fairing, pushing the sound towards the center. By doing that, uh, you get the sound moved to it. Now, this is going to be like this. And you have to, once you mount these to the inside of your fairing, these three holes like this, which I use these uh, three screws like this. I chose to go with, they give you screws, the silver ones, but I chose to get some black ones because I'm funny like that. I like to keep everything consistent. Uh, they're big headed, self tapping, fit in here like that very easily. You line them up, drill them into the fairing, and there you go. One thing you should know is that you may have to, may have to modify some of these uh, support bridges for this unit. I just took a pair of clippers, wet, uh, wire cutters, just trimmed them out so that if there are any knobs on the back of the fairing, I can take those out. So I did three modifications to this and I stuck in place. Took a little hand low impact screw out of this, drove it in there, boom, this is the kit. And you see all these wiring stuff? This is all comes with the kit. So everything you need and more is provided one thing I did was change it, was add uh, some clips like this, the blue ones, and I went and got some black broadhead Phillips screws. The cone is here. This is a stock bearing, and this is the new speaker. These are the two outlets. This is the one, which I'll put a connectors on it that will tie these back into the stereo system through the amp, which means that all your hand controls, all that stuff will work. Your volume, your switch, all that stuff will work fine with your system because it ties back into your, your Hammond Carden stereo system. So that one's up and done. And this is where we'll feed our power cable in the center, right down there. You see all these. This is all the stock. If you notice, this is different in 2011. The amplifier and the CV system are mounted up here, so there's no room for an amplifier up there anymore. So you have to put it. I'm putting mine on this side over here, which is the right side. You can put it left; doesn't make any difference. It's your choice. I just want something because it's a 
Uh, easy for me to work on my right side, so I'm right-handed, so I'm using this side. This is the hole I'm supposed to line up with, but this bridge right here is interfering with that piece, so I can't do it. So what I'm going to do is to take a pair of uh, wire cutters and take out this one support mechanism. Very simple to do. So if you line these up real quick, again, I'll show you. You can see that's hitting right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out. I put my thumb on it like that, open it up, turn it over, take this, cut this down here like this. Take this side over here like this. Finish. Now, take this back up like this. Voila, it's up there flush. Makes your life easier. You don't have to worry about uh, not having it sit flush up against the mount, the face. So take, your, take my screws in. It's real easy now. So get the screw started. Now put the other three in. There's only three. four screws in it. You can use the stock ones if you want. I prefer the longer ones. They have the, I don't know, I'm just kind of kind of cautious kind of guy that I am. I just like to be sure. So those are on there. You can see it's nice and sturdy. All the mounts are good and everything fits flush up here because I did the, the modification to the adopter, adapter ring. So it says flush up against the the factory piece and you can see my connector is over here towards my old feeds which will feed with new ones frequency which you adjust to by your ear that's why you have to have it visible out here you have the, the BX2 which is for the bass that's on you have the gain right between the A and the I and the 
both the right you have in the 89 as well. A little bit past actually, but that's okay. But you can see right there, that's it. So now we're going to put 